Well, well, well. Welcome on it. Come on in. Uh, always happens. Welcome, welcome back, everybody. You know what time it is. You, you know what time it is. We gotta come back to this fucking game. This game drives us insane. So, uh, last time we played this, hey, we found a bunch of, we found nine people, one of which blew up. Uh, we're all stuck on a boat. And we have about nine hours to get out or, or uh, Gas Mask Jigsaw kills us all, so let's get to it. We had just gotten out of the, uh, the kitchen after talking about fucking dry ice for six years. I think... The elevators are over there, so that means... For full context, we got blazed as fuck with, with our dad, so... It's over. Ooh. Oh, yeah. And we need, we need to be gone for this game. We, we gotta be. It's just going to drive us the kitchen there. through that door and came out on this side. That means the map was right. Looks like. Then let's use it to plan our next move. Anyway, yeah. Come on in. Let's see. Let's see what uh, dumb shit happens. To, uh. Okay, hold on. We're trying to relearn all our buttons because uh, at this at this location we can't. We can't see the edges of the screens of some games, so we do. Oh, there we go. There it is. All right. So we oh God, controller. So we're there. Just gonna kind of pick out a good stopping point. Considering all of this took us like four hours, I'm gonna stop around Darish at the uh, at the last intersection. We think, that, we think that'll be a good stopping point. Stopping around the the final intersection, so next time we can fish the game off. Yeah, come on in. Right. Uh, next move. Oh, we gotta be high as hell for this game because this is some bullshit. We're all about to witness just yeah, full stupidity. we need to decide where to go from here, don't we? He's right. Let's get started. From the looks of it, there are four possible routes. Let's just keep it simple and call them A, B, C, and D. First, A and B. They both seem to connect. Is that to a not the same room? <laughs> okay, who's was like, <laughs> why you can't set two entrances? It's the yeah, same there damn were room. Two doors. But they were both locked. We couldn't open them. Now, route C. This goes all the way to the main staircase. That means it's door five. One of the numbered doors. Then do you think we would meet up with the other four after this hallway? No, I don't think we will. Why not? Look, there by the stairs. See how the gate is opened? When we went into the kitchen, it was closed. But it's open now. What do you think that means? They opened it. Most likely. And if we take route C, we're going Oh, interesting. So if we had gone that uh, path, we have seen what, what they was up to. Hold on one second. We will say this. It is interesting, uh, the fact that we could have gone with the other group and actually seen them open that stairway. We, we kind of, we do enjoy games like that where you get to wonder what, what the other side was doing. Which does, uh... Ow, that reminds us of the Invisible War, uh, the Secret World. That was that a very fun game. However, we don't think it actually ever did what it was say the uh was gonna do. Where it's like each faction has its own missions, and you sometimes they'll like interact with other people's missions. And we don't think that was actually the case. You definitely got to know like what each group was up to at certain points, but we don't we don't then think means... one mission would ever intersect with another. But we also never got far enough to know. Route D then. D it is. Yep, route D. Then we're set. Everything looks okay here. 
Let's check the next deck just to be sure. Yeah, just like I thought. You're still fucking flooded. Totally underwater. I wonder why that is. Just like the bottom of the central Is it because you didn't lock the fucking door? At least the water level hasn't really changed. Small comfort. May as well head back to C deck. Hmm. What else is here? There are two elevators over there at the top of the stairs. Do we like how do we look at didn't we have like an inventory? How do we look at that? That's that's the calculator. How do we We swear Just Oh, like I must only be doing up. uh puzzle sections. We don't think we have anything, right? That would help. Hold on. These are kinda different. See? There's a card reader on the side. Oh fucking wonderful. Good job. Another strange mark. Hey, look, it's Lotus's symbol. Huh? See? It's the woman symbol with horns on it. That seems like. Oh, out, 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 out. Well done. Well played. <laughs> we'll be honest, we weren't tracking that one for a second, then we went, oh, we, we understand now. What was it's that? A fucking about the legend. Bark again? Uh, uh, nothing. <laughs> This is a Mercury symbol. The horns symbolize the wings on Hermes's staff. Hermes herpes, whatever. God damn it, Santa. Why? But why, why did you why do you speak? Why do you breathe? If we our can't get this oxygen? thing to work, these elevators aren't going anywhere. In other words, we need a key card with the Mercury symbol on it. Yeah, just making sure all of our stuff was on. Probably. Then I guess we can't get on then. Let's just disregard the elevators for now. How about this hallway on the left? Whoa, there's so many doors. Bet you which ones are open. The fucking ninth ones. Damn it. If we try and search all these, the sun's gonna go down before we've done half of them. I think the sun already set. Yeah, it's I have a feeling this up. ship is the only thing that's going to be going down anytime soon. What? Sure, whatever. I don't fucking care. <laughs> that's even worse. Well, we can come back to this hallway later. Let's check the hallway on the other side, shall we? <sighs> Time to head back to the stairs. And now the right hallway. <sighs> there are doors here too. <sighs> Well, I guess it's just four this time. Let's open them. All right. Let's start with this one. Huh. It is Yo, locked. I'm going to open it. It's very optimistic that they're like, yeah, oh, we're going to have to try all these doors. Like, man, do you not remember the other hallway where most of them were locked? Guaranteed over half of those things don't open. We'll be honest, we don't... Ah, damn it. Uh, we don't know what it is about this game, but it really reminds us of Deadly Premonition. That was a very fun game. Well, weird. They're doing a, they're doing a sequel that's apparently a, actually a prequel. Weird. But us, it's super weird to make the sequel to Deadly Premonition a, a prequel. With the same characters. So you know <laughs> what happens to the dude. This place is huge. Yeah. Oh, there are beds it might be pretty fun, everywhere. Though. Is is this a hospital? It definitely has the smell. Could be. I see medicine cabinets and surgical tools. Hey, look there. The four doors at the end. The left door says three. The second door is blank, but the third has a seven. And the rightmost door is eight. My guy, my god, he has functioning eyeballs. The fucking no legend. Doubt. They're numbered doors. Don't know shit. Why is the second door blank? Why that do you seems give a fuck? Strange, don't you think? I don't care. No do point worrying about it right now. Let's see if these will open first. Yes, that sounds like a good plan. Let's see if these open. It's not like you don't know how these doors fucking work. Hold on. 
Don't check yet. Oh, it's no use. Oh my god, it's like we have to do the thing that we already know the fucking rules of. Waste of a goddamn oh, of time. You know we have like seven and a half hours before we all drown to death, right? Like you guys know that. Do you just not give a shit? If it was that easy to open these doors, what would be the point of the notary game? Oh, for fuck's sake, then why did we try? You fucking frigid bitch. You have to activate the red, or the number of doors won't... Wait a minute. No shit. What's wrong? Look, the display on the red. There's nothing on it. Huh? What? Don't you remember? The red at the central staircase? If no one was inside, it said vacant. Oh, yeah. You're right. But this one... There's nothing on it. Alright, we'll be honest. We were about to make fun of her, like, oh, no, there's shit, nothing's on, you haven't used it yet, but now, uh, now we're like, oh, she, oh, she actually was making a valid fucking right. observation. Shit. Now we feel like the asshole. I wonder if it's broken. Yeah, it's gotta be it, right? It's not like this man spent a fucking bajillion dollars on this whole fucking ship, but no, no he, just, he just let the thing break. Ah, fuck it. I don't do maintenance Only on my one fucking way to find things. out. Fuck that. There's no beep. There's no beep, but just okay. It's not responding. Holy shit. Holy shit. These guys fucking geniuses? Hold on, these these guys These guys got the fucking big brain? It's not respond no shit. How about the red on door seven? And door three? None of them are working. What does it mean? <laughs> I knew it. They're broken. Or they just don't activate if it's impossible for you to go through, you actual fucking Zero muppet. sure sucks at maintenance. Oh yeah, man, he did all of it. He spent millions. Fucked it up on the last hurdle, huh? <sighs> I'm gonna play a game. But all my fucking shit broke. Yeah, no, yeah, no, it sounds like it. Yeah, he didn't meticulously plan this shit for fucking months and then just dropped the ball at the last second. Absolutely. No, Shut that's up, impossible. Yep. No, let's not go that far. This guy also isn't a fucking brain. This guy also isn't a goddamn genius. You but... really think Zero, who prepared all of this, would make such a stupid, simple mistake? Quite honestly, we're ready to believe anything at this point. We talked for at least 30 minutes about a fucking mummy on the Titanic, all right? Maybe, at this point. But that doesn't explain why this thing ain't working. I believe the bottom of the device has been removed. Snake. Why are you here? It oh, it's because everyone's here. We thought, it, we thought it was specifically just him. How did you guys... How did you end up here? That's my line? Perhaps we should exchange information. Perhaps. Okay, so we're guessing they didn't open the top gate? There you have it. Our half of the story. Oh, cool. We didn't okay, get to see it, though. Ball and hell yeah. When you guys got here, the bases for the Reds were already gone. And you looked all over this room, but you couldn't find anything. So you figured... That there might be something in the hallway with all the doors. So you went and had a look? Yeah. And while you were looking around, you heard voices. You know what would have been really cool? If we got to take control of one of the other characters, but we kind of get what we don't because we have to play the shit ourselves, but... I don't know. Uh-huh. <laughs> this seems like such a you weird way to recount it. And came back here. Indeed. And that was how we found you. Okay, so they didn't open the top gate. three reds again, just in case? Oh my god. You know, being meticulous, it's fine, that's good. You should be meticulous. But, when you have a limited time, what the fuck is the point of checking the locked goddamn door? Do you think more people will, will suddenly make the thing it needs appear? Do you... Do you think this shit works on magic? You're right. He's fucking what? Huh. There's a long, thin gap on the bottom. 
almost like something should go there, which you fucking know. It's a slot or something. Probably electronic. Oh, Jesus Christ, we're gonna die. <laughs> well, this isn't good. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. Well, uh, what about that hallway over there? Isn't there anywhere else we can go? No, there isn't. You know, a thought occurs that there is other decks that have these numbered doors. Perhaps we swing back to there are those. Plenty more hospital rooms, but nothing else. Hospital rooms. That's what's behind all those doors? Yes. There are a number of individual rooms in addition to this large one. There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. There was an astrological symbol engraved near the keyhole, however. I was able to get a good uh, feel of it. I believe it was the symbol of Jupiter. Not again. Those goddamn things are everywhere. Almost like they're a part of the game for some fucking... I wonder what they all mean. Does it fucking matter? It's something to do with nine. All right, just just mean, accept that uh, and move what's on. What's the deal with this room? If the next words out of his mouth are something fucking stupid, we're gonna toss this controller across the goddamn I mean, room. I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like this. We'll give him one more chance. He's on thin ice. Well, I figure it's probably a hospital ship. Oh my fucking god. Gonna be right back. Just gotta take a walk after that one. That... That needs... That... That... That needs a second. We need to process what the fuck that man just said. We'll be right back. All right, we had a moment to think about what just fucking happened to us. See, while the rest of you were in that scene for a few seconds, uh, we've lived for eons now with that fucking scene. Did this fucking man look at how goddamn fancy this ship is and he finds a hospital area? Because, you know, it kind of makes sense this ship should have a hospital. And, he, and in his brain, it is what we thought was a functioning human brain. Go, yeah, for how fucking fancy this place is, I think it's a hospital ship. I'm sorry, what, my guy? How? What? No. But maybe he can explain himself. Let's give him a chance. Chances are it's the gigantic. Okay, go gigantic? on. Gigantic. This is gigantic. A fucking ship, probably. The gigantic. Please fucking elaborate. She was a sister ship to the Titanic, built in the early 20th century. Actually, the Titanic had two sister ships, and they looked exactly the same. Okay, seven. We're with you so far, and this is fascinating if true, which we assume it is, because uh, the lying the about that would be weird. To be one of them. They intended to make her a passenger liner like the Titanic, 
but World War I began soon after the ship launched. Okay. The British Navy took her over and made her a hospital ship. Okay. Seven has the brain cell. He has it, we know who's taking it. At some it. point during the war, the Gigantic was damaged by a German mine in the Aegean Sea. She ran aground afterwards, so she didn't end up sunk. What happened to her after that? One theory going around is that a man named Lord Gordain bought her. Seemed like he'd been one of the few to survive the Titanic sinking. That trauma turned him into some kind of obsessive collector of all things related to the Titanic. Soon enough, a guy wanted the Titanic itself. Which was impossible, of course. It's stuck at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. But the Gigantic wasn't. And seeing as she was identical... So you're saying this Lord Gordain bought this ship? Yeah. At least I think I am. That's impossible. No way we're in some boat that's almost a hundred years old. Santa, you have been fucking up recently. If you don't have a good reason on thinking why you can't be on a hundred year old boat, boats, age does not affect a boat's ability to float. And what we mean is, a fucking rowboat will still float despite the fact we have motorboats. So, what possible fucking reason could we not be in this boat? Down. Just pay attention. Alright, now cut him off. That's also a good well, idea. That's it? Well, have you got any proof? Well, we're in our fucking hospital room, for one. That's pretty good evidence on his side. Proof that this ship is really the gigantic. Well, uh, this ship's got stuff that's like the Titanic and a hospital ship. So, I just figured... Oh, for goodness. Don't tell me that's your only reason. We'll be honest, bitch. That's pretty good fucking reasoning already. I mean, it's, it's not bulletproof, but I mean, the guy made it. No, I, I've got more. All right, Seven, this better be good, please. Don't prove us wrong that you're smart. Mike? Well, uh, I mean, I don't know. Well, he tried. Someone stole the brain cell, you can't help him on that back. back yet, is it? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Hey, 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 whoa, wait a minute. Memory isn't back? Yeah. Your point being? Wait, was I the only one that didn't- Why? Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't tell you, huh? I told the rest of them before we ran into you on the stairs. I told them I couldn't remember a damn thing from before I woke up. What? Oh-ho, the plot doth thicken! Huh. It sounds like the clock in the main stairway. That's one loud-ass clock! 11, 12, huh, 12. It's midnight. Which means we have... How long to... When were we, we dying? we still got six hours left, right? Oh, six. Okay, cool. We don't have any time to screw around. You never had time to screw around, but we assure you, you still found ways to do it. We don't feel that in the next four hours that trend's gonna change. Let's get going. We gotta find the missing parts for the Reds. What do you mean, find? How on earth do you propose we do that? By searching. You fucking look everywhere in this room. That only leaves one place to look. One? Uh, well, not just one. Hmm? Wait. Don't tell me you mean we need to search all of the other rooms. Don't freak out. We've already searched four of them. Four rooms? We just have to split up the rest between the eight of us. 
If each of us can do six rooms apiece, we'll have the other 48 rooms cleared in no time. There are 48 other rooms? Uh, maybe. Hmm. All right, so everyone... Why do you see 48? Why does anyone do anything? Why does this game hurt us? Yeah. Yes! We'll all meet up when the clock goes off again. Ah, uh, how about in that room with all the beds? Yeah. Sounds straightforward enough. I'll shout if I find any of the components we need. I hope we can find them within the time limit. If we can't, then we'll just have to come up with another plan. Right. We'll be honest. And correct us if we're wrong. But on the story above us, in the other stairwell areas, there were still other red rooms, right? Why don't we check those? Because this guy so far has not been a t complete ass. He's not been Saw 7 Jigsaw, where these traps are bullshit and how the fuck does anyone survive? It seems like he kind of has a pattern for how you get out. And we'll be honest, if his game involves searching 48 random fucking rooms, uh, he's insane. He uh, fucking wanted you and to let's fail. Let's do this. It's one. I better get back to the others. So you wasted a whole hour on that, huh? Huh? What are they doing over there? What happened, guys? Jumpy, look! Huh? What? Vacant. Come on, guys. Who was it? I thought we were supposed to yell if we found it. Well... What the hell? What is up with you guys? Someone just fucking say it. They well, were turned the on thing. when you came back. We don't know. You don't know? When I got back, it was already like this. There was no one else here. That means I the missing parts were already back in the red. Oh, whoops. Fuck. That means, that means uh, I was the first one back, but... Oh, okay. We like how everyone's like, man, who could have done this? It's like, I don't know. Zero ran out from behind his goddamn little puppet. His goddamn little puppet curtain. And just put this shit back in. What? Let me see. Oh my god, what are you gonna find? You're right. It's in there. Holy shit. So not only did you waste an hour, we're gonna continue wasting time on this bullshit. Two? Okay. They're the same. Let me take a look. Oh my fucking god. My guy, we have five hours till we all die. It's just as you said. Alright, I, I just want to be sure here. Nobody has any idea what the hell happened here, right? Correct. None. <sighs> Wait a minute. Where's Snake? Does that mean that he found them? I've no idea. There's nothing to suggest it, but nothing to suggest. I don't suppose we'll know until we can ask him in person. <laughs> well, where is he at? Did or didn't do. He's pretty damn late. What the hell is he up to? Maybe he's lost. It was a pretty straight shot. Yeah. Well, that seems likely. Dude can't see. I don't know how he gets around in the first place. Didn't you say fucking echo location or some no, horse shit? That's impossible! Yeah, my brother's blind, but he's got really great hearing! He can get around as well as anyone who can see! 
Okay. Why are you freaking out as if we accused him of fucking murder? So he... He couldn't get lost. That's impossible. Why are you freaking out? <laughs> you acting <laughs> suspicious as fuck, my guy. I'm gonna go look for him. Okay. Hey, uh, hold on, Clover. Wait. Why don't we all go look? So we can ask him what's going on.